four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth to this continent. Today was the 150th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's historic Gettysburg Address speech. Students, faculty, and staff of Iowa Wesleyan will also have a place in history as they performed a civic exercise for acclaimed documentarian Ken Burns' new website by reciting this speech. Groups of students clad in purple gathered at the Harlan Lincoln House on the school's campus joining faculty and staff for the historic exercise. The group recited the speech three separate times with a passionate flair that would make Lincoln himself proud. Assistant Professor of Nursing Lori Vick helped put the event together and said she was surprised by the enthusiastic turnout and that students would remember this for years to come. We had a great student showing and students were very interested and, and you saw how well they cooperated. They were happy to be here and I, I think it was great, great experience for them. And it's a memory that they've made now. Iowa Wesleyan's recitation of Lincoln's speech will be uploaded to Burns' website www.learntheaddress.org, joining other famous recitations on the website from people such as Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and Stephen Colbert. The goal of the website is to create an online living archive of the most important speeches in American history. Iowa Wesleyan history professor Todd Brereton said the group did a stellar job and helped put Iowa Wesleyan on the map. It was a great event for everyone to get together and to participate in this as a group and to uh, help uh, uh, put uh, the, the name of Iowa Wesleyan College out there in the public. I'm here in front of the historic Harlan Lincoln House where the civic exercise fittingly took place today. The house was the former home of U.S. Senator James Harlan, whose daughter married Robert Todd Lincoln, President Lincoln's only surviving son. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, Nate Masulo, KTVO News.